Hey everyone, Steve the Miner here. I know it's been a little while, so let's get right down to this. One of the most common questions I'm asked on social media is, how do I find crystals while I'm out on a hike? Well, the short answer is, you just kind of do. Uh, they're going to be on the ground. You know, look for anything clear, colorful, shiny, shimmery, smooth. You know, anything that looks like it could have been tumbled. Maybe naturally, like in the creek or river. Uh, these are all going to be alluvial deposits. And knowing the difference between the deposit types is really going to help you find better and better crystals as you go down uh, the road. You know, the first thing you're going to encounter is the alluvial, likely on a hike, or maybe the eluvial. The eluvial is going to be on the side of the hill. This is stuff that's been eroding out of the mountain over time. That's what feeds the creeks and rivers. So you're actually going to find a... a a little bit nicer more complete crystal on these deposits, but they're still going to be rough on the outside They traveled a little bit. They rubbed against other minerals uh, They've been eroding at uh, The surface level for a long time where these these deeper crystals in the hard rock uh, You know, they, they haven't been exposed to any elements so You know and then finally you get to the hard rock. This would be your highest quality crystals if you can break into a nice pocket where um, you know didn't get overcooked with acids and had proper time to form you're gonna find these beautiful full crystals so when you're on a hike it's uh, kind of fun to play this little detective game where you start you know either in the creek or the hillside find evidence of minerals and then follow it to its hard rock deposit so two things I want to say about this. First is, um, depending on the mineral, you, you know there's going to be a chemistry to it. And thankfully we have smartphones these days. You just look it up real quick on your phone if you don't know the mineral. If you don't, throw it on a Facebook group real quick. Someone will answer your question. And uh, you can do a search, find out uh, you know, what minerals are going to be in there. You can Then you can be like, oh, what does manganese look like in... Uh, uh, feldspar for example on a Google search and then you're gonna see what color stain and how rich it is and um, all the properties of it in a rock uh, preferably one that's in your area and then you can look up in the hillside and kind of uh, figure out where to start hiking because you know uh, there's gonna be a big wide range of area you can search you can narrow that search by finding the right color the right chemistry for this crystal that you found because it's not going to be directly below it, it moved over time so uh, you have to kind of follow the clues get to that hard rock once you find the hard rock deposit this is the second thing you want to look for pits and cavities these are actual little pockets where the, the crystals form so uh, for example if you're lucky enough to find a big long uh, quartz vein in the side of a hill every pit and cavity you could search in there there's probably going to be little teeny crystal points and if you find a good one there's going to be some nice chunkers and at the very least you know they're going to be high quality you can start uh, banging into the rock if you have the right equipment and if not you're just going to search the base of that pretty close to the surface even but the further you get you want to dig in a little bit and you're going to find crystals that have eroded out over time um, they're, they're probably what have led you to that hard rock deposit, but you know, if you found it alluvially in the creek or river and followed it all the way up, then it's good to kind of step back and search the area uh, for those types of crystals. So the, the three different deposit types, alluvial, eluvial, and then hard rock, knowing the difference between them, how to follow one to the other, and what to do when you get there is essentially important. And uh, you're gonna start finding crystals almost immediately. I uh, hope you have real good luck and uh, thanks for watching.